We can hear a close-up sound. And now we can hear a wide-angle ambient sound. And all this is done with one ambisonic sound effect. Hey guys, this is Charles with Shutterstock. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how we can edit ambisonic sound effects using a free audio tool from Rode. And we're also gonna be using some free ambisonic sound effects available from Shutterstock if you guys wanna follow along. If you guys enjoy editing sound effects or doing intricate sound design for your videos, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check this out. So let's go ahead and roll the intro and get started. All right, guys, let me touch on a few basics really quick here if you're brand new to Ambisonics, just to give you some context. Ambisonics are a 360 degree audio recording, and they're recorded with special Ambisonic microphones that usually have four microphone capsules pointing in all different directions. The NTSF1 microphone from Rode is a good example of this. Now, this is where things get cool. Because our Ambisonic sound effect is a 360 degree audio recording, we can then go in and the edit and focus in on a specific area of that recording essentially redirecting a virtual microphone in post-production. And we can even change our sound effect from mono to stereo, even a 5.1 surround sound, all from one Amazonic recording. To do this, we're gonna be using a free audio plugin from Rode called Soundfield. It's a VST plugin that works with all the popular digital audio workstation apps, such as Pro Tools, Reaper, Logic Pro, and Adobe Audition, which is what I'm gonna be using. And as I mentioned earlier, we have some free ambisonic sound effects from Shutterstock, and that's what I'm gonna be working with. So if you guys wanna follow along, I'll have links where you can find everything on the blog post, and a link for that will be in the description of this video. Lastly, guys, you're definitely gonna wear some headphones for this tutorial, otherwise you're not gonna be able to hear all the subtle differences we're gonna to listen to with this ambisonic audio. So if you're watching this on a phone, go ahead and plug in your headphones, and let's jump over to the Soundfield plugin. All right, guys, we are inside of Adobe Audition. I've already brought in three of the free sound effects from the Shutterstock free Amazonic sound effects pack. And if I select one of them here, you'll see we have four different channels and that's usually pretty telling of an Amazonic sound effect. It'll have four channels. And if I actually go ahead and preview this, what we're hearing is actually only two of the channels. Uh, you can see we have four of them here, but if I actually turn off the top two and this is all you'll probably hear if you have headphones on. The only way you're gonna hear all four channels previewing like this is if you have multiple different speakers hooked up to probably to a computer. But you can see now if I go ahead and hit play, we can't hear anything, and that is because we're only gonna really be able to hear these top two channels if you're listening to this on a normal computer or with headphones. So let me go ahead and turn both those channels back on. And now let's go ahead and use the Soundfield plugin by Rode. Again, you can use any different digital audio workstation to use this plugin. It just has to use VST effects. So with our audio clip selected here, I'm gonna come to effects, and then in Adobe Audition, I'll come down here to VST, then effect, and we're gonna select Rode, and then launch the Soundfield plugin by Rode. And now we can see the plugin has opened up, and again, this will be what you see no matter what audio program you're using once you get to this point. So we have a few different modules here where we can adjust settings. Before we jump into that, I'm just gonna quickly change this to AmbiX, and I'll explain that a little bit later while I'm doing that, but I just wanna go ahead and show you guys kind of the core of the plugin. So let's go ahead and hit play down here and look and see what's happening. So now you can see we're getting kind of these audio highlights here where the sound is coming from and we get a full 360 degree display of this ambisonic sound effect. You can see a lot of the sounds coming from in front of us and if we're facing from the side, you can see it's kind of down here to the lower part. And that seems correct. The effect we're listening to right here is kind of an open ocean, kind of a beachfront. And this makes a lot of sense if you think about it, because you can see we're getting a lot of sound in front of us, it's like we're standing in front of the ocean. And then again, the waves are kind of down here below us a little bit here. And that kind of makes sense for the kind of placement of where that audio is coming from. So you can think of the waves just kind of crashing on the beach there. And what these lines represent here with the faces is our virtual microphone. So currently we have a stereo output, that's what's outputting to us. And you can see kind of the angle here of each of the stereo mics kind of facing toward the ocean. And if I wanted to, I could actually rotate this and you should be able to hear the differences now on this a little bit, very subtle. But now it's like the microphones are actually facing away from the ocean. Now let me go ahead and turn this back facing forward. And you should be able to hear a lot more difference here when I actually angle this here. Down toward the ocean. Now we can hear a big difference there because we're actually facing the mics kind of more vertically away from the waves. And 
And then another thing you're gonna see that's really cool is with this stereo output, because we have kind of the width, the angle here of the two microphones, we can narrow this in and kind of focus in more on the waves. So I'm just gonna click on one of these and narrow this in. It allows us to kind of isolate more of a specific sound that we wanna hear. And then I could widen this out for more of an ambient sound. And when I widen these two mics all the way to the end, it's almost more like a binaural microphone where we're hearing something that sounds very natural to our ears, just like we would be if we were at this location. And hopefully you can hear the differences there, kind of how that sounds. Again, I can narrow this back in. Now let me give you guys an idea of how you might use an Amazonic sound effect like this in your own edits. So when I was editing for the free Amazonic sound effects trailer for Shutterstock, there was two different shots. One was of the ocean, kind of a high up wide angle view. And then I had another shot of very close up of ocean waves kind of from a boat. And what I did with that was actually use the same sound effect for both of those. I'll just kind of show you kind of how I did that. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this again. For that wide angle shot, what I did was I just widened up the angle of these two microphones. So we really kind of get a, a full ambient sound coming from that. And I paired up that with that ocean shot. I feel like that was a good match because you know we have a very wide angle shot. It makes sense that we need a big wide sound for that specific shot. And then for the close up of the waves kind of next to the boat, I just narrowed this in really close. So it's kind of like we're facing just right next to those waves and it's very isolated, more specific sound effect. You know, you don't want that huge broad ambience. And that kind of replicates with those shots. So you have a wide angle shot, so you want a wide sound for a full ambience. And then a close up shot, I wanted a more narrow sound effect for that. And that's how I was able to control this using the Soundfield plugin with those Amazonic sound effects. So hopefully that example will start to give you guys an idea of the possibilities you can do with Amazonic sound effects. Now let me kind of go over some of the different modules here with the Soundfield plugin. So again, let's go back here to the input. And this is where you're going to typically start. And you'll notice that I changed this in the beginning to this AmbiX format, that B format. And that's probably the most common Amazonic sound effect format. And let me show you guys kind of what that's doing. But go ahead and play this. Again, we can see our ocean sound here. Let me widen this up just a little bit. You can see the audio waves where we're getting the most activity here is in the front and kind of down lower from our person here. And that, again, that makes sense for our audio waves. And that's what I was looking for when I selected that AmbiX format. Now default, it may be on one of these other formats here. This is the NTSF1. And that's relating to the microphone. Again, it's by road. So this plugin is kind of specifically geared toward that one, but you can use it with any Amazonic sound effects. But when we have that one selected, I could tell that this sound effect was not recorded most likely with that microphone because the sound here we get in our audio waves is coming from the top and, and it's still in front here, but it's just coming from above us. And obviously the ocean waves are most likely not gonna be above us here in this situation. So that kind of tipped me off that, hey, this is probably one of these other input formats. It's probably the AmbiX. And when I switch it to that, you can see it, it looks right. But it really doesn't matter which one of these formats you select because all these are doing is just rearranging those four different channels we have. So you can see we have a W, Y, Z, and X channel here for the AmbiX. If I change this to this F, U, M, A, you can see all that's doing is just rearranging these channels. That's really all that's changing. And the same thing happens with this NT SF1 selection. It just kind of renames the channels and rearranges them. But the actual audio itself is all still the same. So you can still create the sound effects you want from this. It just may kind of change up where you need to angle the microphone. And if you can get this set to the correct one, it's just gonna make things easier for you. So again, I typically recommend starting with this AmbiX. And you can see if that's correct. And you have a few other options here, you know, such as the dB value, if you wanna trim that up or down. And then the microphone, if maybe when this was recorded, if the microphone was angled in a different direction, that will change your results over here and you can correct that with that as well. So hopefully that's not too confusing to you. Again, in most cases, just set this to AmbiX and you're probably gonna be just fine. Now over here with the output, it's currently set to stereo and that's why we have two different microphones here where we could kind of narrow in and widen that out if we want to as well. But we can change this to a lot of different other formats. We have Amazonic formats up here, but again, here's another one for a monoscopic one. 
So this just gives us one single microphone input. And that's kind of like a shotgun microphone where you can really dial in specifically on a sound if you want to. If you don't want that kind of stereo sound that you might have more of an ambience with. You can also change this to be a surround sound like 5.1 so now you can see all the different microphones we have and we can move those around our subject to kind of isolate more specific sounds. You can kind of see how that works here. And we have quite a few other options over here as well. You can expand that out even more. So you can see it really goes into a lot of depth with that. I'm gonna change this back to stereo because with my work, I typically that's what I'm gonna be using. I think that's probably gonna be the case with most people's video is just kind of creating your own stereo sound effects with this. And down here at the bottom, we have the microphone polarity. So currently the default here, you can see it's kind of like there's where the audio is being picked up. And that's super cardioid. We can change this to be a little bit different format if we want. I believe this is like beam forming cardioid. And my understanding is with this one, it's gonna isolate a little bit more of the specific sound and try to pick up less of the surrounding sound. So you might wanna use that one when you have like a mono uh, output selected here. And you're going to really focus in on a specific sound. And then we can also change, if I come down here to stereo, we can change how that pattern is on the microphone by adjusting this, you can kind of see how that's changing the pattern of the microphone. And this is really if you want to, you know, really dial in something specific. A lot of times I just leave these on the defaults because I can't hear too much of a difference with these. But again, depending on the sound effect you're working with, you may be able to hear quite a bit of a difference. And then with that, once you have something dialed in, let's go ahead and just make this a really wide angle sound effect here so we get a full ambience of the ocean. Once you have something selected that you like, just go down here and click apply. Now I'll go ahead and apply that effect to your sound here in Adobe Audition. And now we can see we only have two channels here and that makes sense because our output was gonna be stereo. And if we play this back now, we can hear that same sound effect that we created there with the Soundfield plugin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit stop for that. And if I wanna export that out to create a new sound effect from that sound, I would just come over here to file and go ahead and select export and then select file. And that'll open up where we can rename our file name and we can select the location we want to export this out to, select our format. I'm typically gonna do just a wave format. And then for the sample type, you should see it say stereo here, just to make sure you're getting both those channels. If it doesn't, come over here and click change and you could change this to be stereo there. Go ahead and click okay and then just click okay. And that will go ahead and export that out. Let's quickly take a look at two other sound effects we've got here to just demonstrate the plugin a little bit more. So I've got this pier with waves over here. I'm gonna select that, come back over to effect. Let's go ahead and launch the road plugin. And we're we'll gonna play this. And this is a beachfront with a pier where people are walking back and forth. And with this set at the widest setting here, we can hear the ocean, we can hear boats, we can hear people talking. That's kind of at that binaural, you know, very wide angle there, stereo sound effect. Now let's go ahead and focus this in more on just the waves and see if we can narrow this in. So you can see in doing that, we don't really hear any of the people anymore. You can hear a little bit of the boats probably, just because it's gonna be kind of a low rumble. But again, we're focusing in on that specific sound in this case. I can widen this back up. Definitely hear more of the boats. You can start to hear people kind of murmuring as they walk past there with that as well. And let's take a look at this skateboarding ollie sound effect I've got here. I'm gonna double click on that one. And let's go to effect, VST, and let's go ahead and apply the road plugin. And go ahead and play this one. So again, we can hear skateboarding sound effects and we can look here and we can see kind of on the waveform where the sound is coming from. So again, this makes sense. Somebody's doing ollie tricks with the skateboard in front of us. Let's focus in more on that sound. Because in this particular case, I probably am wanting to make a skateboarding sound effect. I most likely don't want a full ambience of a skate park. If you do, you, know, you would have this be super wide like this. But I'm gonna change this to be mono. And let's just focus in on where we're kind of seeing the most activity where somebody's jumping with a skateboard. Okay. 
And that would be, again, where that sound's coming from. So if that's what I want, in this case, I would just go ahead and click Apply. And that's gonna give us now that sound with that really isolated focusing in on the skateboard so we can preview this in here. And that's exactly what we want. So from here, we can go ahead and export this out as our skateboarding sound effect. And again, that's exactly what I did when I did the skateboarding sound effects for the free Amazonic sound effect trailer. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed checking out the Soundfill plugin and editing this Amazonic audio. Again, I'll have links where you can find everything on the blog post. That's gonna be in the description of this video. And be sure to check out the other tutorials we have on the Shutterstock channel. We have lots of new content coming out very soon. And I will see you guys on the next one.